welcome to Module 2. Uh, this week, we will begin to delve into the conceptual foundation of international accounting. Now, much of what you read this week will remind you of your previous accounting classes, uh, in particular, the accounting classes that taught you the fundamental accounting model uh, and basically bookkeeping. However, what this week should do is demystify some of the issues, some of the concepts, of course, uh, and some of the terms and definitions that you might have taken for granted in bookkeeping, in prior accounting classes. What do I mean by that? Well, we've always assumed that an asset is something of value that we own. Well, what do we mean by value? Well, we didn't delve too deeply into definitions of value in your bookkeeping courses that you've already taken. But this week, we begin to do so as we start to think about economic resources. That's economic, economic, I'll say that one more time, economic resources. What is a liability? Well, once again, that's something that we owe to someone else. That's basically the way that we learned the definition of a liability in bookkeeping. But that's a very, very fundamental nuts and bolts simple answer. There are more complicated liabilities that we will learn about this term, and they have to do with the definition of a liability as an economic, that is an economic, <laughs> yes, I'll say it one more time, economic claim. Now, why do I keep repeating the word economic? It's only to point out that, whereas previously, in your education of the bookkeeping process, we really didn't get much into economics as a discipline. Now, this term, we are, and we'll begin to see why accounting is really more than just bookkeeping. It involves economics, it involves finance, and many other advanced disciplines of business. So please enjoy reading about the conceptual foundations of in international accounting this week, and I'll see you right back here next week.